Good afternoon, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isa Does Tech, where we do tech in your real life in style. You know what it is? We're talking about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So, for those of you who are not so updated on tech news, Samsung just launched the new Notes. Basically, those phones with S Pen. And this year, there are two versions, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Now, usually I'd opt for the smaller notes because, I mean, smaller hands. But for the first time ever, I actually wanted the bigger note. One, this year, the bigger note has better cameras. Two, the bigger note has better battery. And three, the smaller note has a plastic back. Actually, mostly three. And I know, I know, we've actually seen so many good phones with plastic backs and I haven't even held the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and I'm sure it's one of those plastic back phones that are good but still if I had a choice I would prefer glass over plastic because in phones just like in people I prefer no plastic right as can you shall receive unless you're talking about mass testing and a global health pandemic in which case but yes I finally have the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and I will have to say that this particular device is an engineering unit meaning that it's the final hardware feel and look but there might just be a few tweaks when it comes to software when it comes to the retail versions that actually go on sale. So basically in this video, no box, so no unboxing. Just hands-on thoughts on this phone. A quick look at what the S Pen can do. That's always fun. And a quick camera tour. Maybe a quick zoom test. Anyway, let's go. So here we are, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. What we have here is the black version. As you can see, that is a glossy back. I mean, I've been seeing videos of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra bronze version and they've been saying that it's matte. This one though is very glossy and even at some point mirror-like. Legitimate mirror-like. This year's notes do come in better colors than this. Hoping I get that bronze one soon. But in my opinion, not as good as the colors last year because there was a pink one last year. I mean, there is a pink Note 20 version this year, it seems, but only from certain carriers from Korea. And that's for the Note 20, the smaller one. And honestly, I just really, really think that the pink from last year's Note looks better, but I digress. So like I mentioned earlier, this is the Note 20 that has a glass back. Let's... So yeah, it's not that heavy glass back. It's more of those lightweight ones. That means you don't really strain to hold on to this phone despite it being like a really big device. Like, make no mistake, this is a big phone. That basically means I can't do anything on this phone with one hand because like, look, my thumb can reach anywhere. And for girls like me, that also means this isn't going to fit in those tight jean pockets or tiny purses. But also remember guys, this is the Note, so it's designed to be used with two hands and with a pen. So it might just be the only time I'm sort of okay with like a huge device. That experience using it with a pen is really nice because of that bigger surface. And speaking of big things on this phone, yes, it has a camera bump a la S20 Ultra. This phone sports curved edges, so that is a better in-hand feel, especially for like really tiny hands like mine. There is a slight curve on the screen, which actually adds to the experience of it being a note. Like, it's almost all screen except for that tiny tiny punch hole up front i feel like that recreates the feeling of writing with a pen and paper more on the right side of this device you have volume rockers and the power button at the bottom we have a mic usb-c port speakers and the s pen now you may have noticed that the s pen slot moved from this side to this side I actually don't know how I feel about that yet. I haven't used this phone long enough for me to have feelings about it. But I am curious to see what difference it makes when it comes to real use case scenarios. We have a clean left side and up top we find a mic and a SIM tray. We're seeing the same S Pen from the Note 10. Semi-flat little thing with that clicker up top that's 
you know, not really the button and the actual button up here. Despite being the same S Pen though, there are new S Pen tricks with this phone. And we're gonna get to that a little later. But first, a montage. Right, so the S Pen, it can still do the same old things like AR Doodle or control the camera. So as you can see here, I am switching the camera via gestures. I can switch around the camera. Told you. And I can also take photos remotely. Okay, I have to say that by far this is my favorite S Pen feature like Ever. But yeah, this thing does have new tricks up its sleeve. There are new gestures. Let me show you. As you can see here, you have all these different actions. Huh? Oh. <laughs> and you can assign certain things to them. And since we're here, this is the area where you sort of program what the S Pen does in each app. Again, as you can see, camera options are pretty much all there better to shoot your own OTDs with. On this phone, there's also the AirView feature which basically allows you to see previews of things by just hovering your pen. So for example, I'm in gallery now, I put the pen here, it shows me the photo. It's pretty cool, right? Another thing I like on Note phones, it allows you to do really complex screenshots. So smart select and for example, I just want to take a screenshot of this area. It helps me do that and you have different options like pin to screen if you want it to just be like a reminder of sorts and you can also extract text. <laughs> I mean there's even a share button right here because this phone just knows you're gonna send these screenshots or what is in these screenshots to your friends. <laughs> When writing notes on this new note, Samsung claims that it feels just like writing on paper. Basically, it's saying that there's no latency when using this S Pen on the note screen and this is done with AI. So long story short, this predicts what you're gonna note down and basically that means no lag. Have to admit, it does feel nice writing on this thing. And that was our quick look at the S Pen. Now it's time for the camera tour. Right guys, it's camera tour time and yes, I am sitting in front of a mirror just so we have a perspective as to how far away I am from like what you're seeing on the cameras when we do zooms and stuff like that. So yeah, let's start. Right, hi, we are on selfie. Let's go to the rear camera. So that is your 1X wide. 5X. Tapping into 5X will show you it can do up until like 50x. Ooh. Let's look at like some things behind me. Okay, guys, right now this is pretty mind blowing to me because you can see like sort of knitted rope, right? You know how far that is? I mean, from the reflection in the mirror. So it's that tiny mirror. You were looking at the details of that row frame from that tiny mirror. That's sort of amazing. And then, yup, those are the books in the bookshelf behind me. I can actually now read the title. This is Ricky Lee's Para Kay B. So here we have a scene optimizer. So the colors changed slightly. Up here settings, flash settings, timer size settings and then you have motion photo on finally you have different filters and you can toggle intensity on each filter 
my filters now i like this i don't know if this is new but i just noticed this feature now it allows you to pick a photo that already has a filter on it so for example this photo and then it creates a filter that replicates how that photo looks and you can save it so now it adds to my filters and I can use it anytime I want so you see the difference and now it looks like that sample photo I like this I really really like this for people who are on Instagram but only edit through like VSCO or stuff like that this actually is a good alternative such an underrated feature and then you have face which gives you what does it give you oh that's the beauty mode right so on video you have wide 1x, 5x, and up until 20x. Again, those are the books behind me. And this is how far those books actually are. And then we have settings. Let's look at what this rear camera can shoot. And it can shoot in 8K 24 FPS. And then it can also shoot in HD, Full HD, Ultra HD, up until 60 FPS. I mean, this is a smartphone and it can shoot in 8K. I don't... It... <laughs> This video, what you're watching right now, it's not even in 4K, let alone 8K. And yet this phone can shoot in 8K. That's crazy. Up here, you also have the flash settings, a steady mode, super steady on. And then there is a wide and a not wide option. There is a size ratio for shooting video. So that's good because this allows you to shoot video in one by one which is i think really nice for instagram posts if you want to do like instagram video posts and then there are different filters also a my filters option so remember the filter we made earlier i can apply it on video dude i love this okay i'm sold i love this and finally face filters or the beauty mode you also have ar doodle this allows you to well let me show you so for example let me draw okay that doesn't look like a crown but you get the idea so let's say i drew a crown on me look that is ar for you moving on let's go to more and here you have a pro mode and this allows for iso settings from 50 to 3200 shutter speed settings 1 over 12 thousands to 30 seconds you have exposure settings autofocus white balance and what is this Ooh, different settings for thin contrast saturation and then under more you also have panorama mode a food mode there is a night mode let's check that out real quick so there is a wide 1x 5x up until 10x can we zoom even more that is the max we also have live focus mode. So this is basically their bokeh mode and there is a wide and a 1x and can we zoom? No more zooming. As you can see, my background is now blurred and this is something that you can adjust. And then there are also different blur effects. There's also a live focus video. Can you zoom in or out? No, not in this mode, but you can also adjust the blur and use those different effects. Ooh, we have pro video too. There is a super slow-mo mode. There's also a slow motion mode. And then there is a hyperlapse mode. Right, let's move on to the other side and we have the single take mode. And what this does is it allows you to shoot like a short clip and then all your cameras are working right now and after we're able to get like a number of cool shots. Let's check that out. So as you can see, there are different shots here, right? selfies of course you can also do the single take mode so for example this is a quick 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 clip so let's imagine i'm moving around and doing stuff okay so what i love about this is imagine just like propping this phone up walking away 
twirling or something, triggering your camera with your S Pen, and all of a sudden you have the perfect Instagrammable photo. I love. Right, on photo mode, you have a wide and a not so wide, and up here, settings, flash, timer, different sizing options, and here you have the motion photo, the different filters. So the, the same thing applies. You have filters, you have my filters. This is the one we made earlier. You have the beauty mode. Oh, and look at all those different settings too. This is really fun, but again, remember girls, and I say this in all of my videos, the beauty mode is fun and I love it, but remember to love the real you and there's nothing wrong with imperfections. Right, also there is gesture selfie. Of course, it's a Samsung phone. And then we can go to selfie video where we have settings, size, what is this? Ooh, the different filters. My filters, the same filter we made. Live beauty mode on video. Front video size, 16 by 9. Ooh, nice. Also, is there a zoom or wide? No zoom or wide in this mode. <laughs> I just said that. And then under more, we have the same things. Right, that's it for a quick camera tour. Now, I usually do photo samples after the camera tour, but remember guys, this is an engineering unit, so we're not gonna do that this time. But I promise you there will be a video on the Note 20 Ultra soon, okay? Okay? Yeah. And that was our first look at the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. It is, again, a very power-packed phone. But I mean, what did we expect from a Note, right? Let alone an Ultra Note. Let me know what you think about this phone down in the comment section below and let me know what your questions are about this device. But again, I will have to wait for the actual retail unit, hoping I get the bronze one, for me to make up my mind about how I feel exactly about this phone. Right, that's it for today. If you want to see how I use this tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's at Cisa Said. Until next time!